Hi hi hello everyone, it's your girl! And a couple videos back I mentioned that I had convinced my college teacher about letting me draw mock Sonic IDW covers for a whole semester project. And I was not joking, that actually did happen. <laughs> and since I just recently submitted the whole project, I decided to share the process of how I made them and rank them on how much I liked the end result and my teacher's reaction. So stay till the end to see which one is the one that takes the prize for the best piece of the semester, wink wonk. Ready? Let's do this! Starting off with the 8th and last piece, we got the Sonic Forces inspired cover. As well as the game, I think this cover is mid at best. This one was the first I made for the whole semester, so I'm not actually surprised on why it turned out mid. It was my first time trying to make a Sonic cover and the fact that it was an assignment for my final project made me unreasonably nervous. Don't worry, that sentiment changes through the video. Though, lesson learned, I guess. Try not to be too nervous or you'll definitely butcher the potential on a piece. Because I do think this piece had a lot of potential. I think I might redraw it someday, but who knows. The idea behind this cover was that I wanted to make the fight that should have happened in Forces, but didn't happen. No, I'm not salty, I am just right. I am both Forces' best apologist, yet worst hater. And I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> I will most definitely someday make a Sonic Forces video because I have a lot of thoughts. Like, so many thoughts. But I'll save them for that video. Let me know if you're interested. Back to the art. I think the characters in this piece look alright. I just think it's the oversimplistic background that hinders it a bit. Though I was aiming to do something oversimplistic because of no space. Though, obviously, that backfired a bit. <laughs> now, I know that no space doesn't really look like this, but like, it should? It's supposed to be a void on Infinite's control, right? Like, why not go with his red motif, huh, Sega? Why the neon purples? God, it's just... I love Sonic Forces so much, I hate it. <laughs> on the positive side of this, I had a lot of fun rendering this piece. I love coloring Infinite's hair, mane, I have no idea at this point. And his red cubes were both infuriating and a lot of fun to color. Just like Forces. <coughs> Anyways, don't take seriously anything I say about Forces. If you like it or if you hate it, good on you. Because I don't really know what to think about this game. But yeah, this is the final art for this cover and let's move on. Next in the list is a vaguely Frontiers inspired cover featuring Team Sonic, Amy, Sage and Eggman. Six characters. I was really not making this easier for myself, huh? <laughs> anyways, anyways. In this one I really wanted to flex the coloring muscles and use more color theory. You know, the one thing most artists are confused no matter the stage they are at. I am no exception, I am terrified of color theory. But alas, if one does not practice, one will not get better. The reason this one ranks so low is because while I think it looks very nice, again, the background looks very bare, and thematically it's not too strong either. It's more of a me thing, but I like my covers to have some sort of story. At least covers that aren't pinups. I actually did this one because in class most people liked this thumbnail best and wanted to see me finish it. And again, I think it looks pretty cool, but I think I could have done more with the background. Though this is my video and I'm allowed to say that I really, really, really like the coloring of this one. I think the yellows and reds and the tint of blue on everyone but Supersonic looks pretty dang neat. And Supersonic was obviously super fun to shade. I don't know man, I just had a lot of fun making this cover. And if that isn't what art is about, then I don't know what it is. This is your daily reminder to have fun while creating, because if not, then what's the point? <laughs> so if you need a break, take it, drink water, and have a lot of fun creating. Either way, with that PSA out of the way, let's continue. Sixth place goes to the Sonic Shogakukan inspired cover. I'll go over this one a bit quicker since I talked about this on my Sonic Shogakukan video, which PS is on the top right corner or in the description, go check it out if you haven't, wink wonk. But yeah, I really like this cover and the spacey galaxy theme I was going for. 
I wanted to show the duality between Sonic and Nikki, and you can see in the sketch face that I almost went with Sonic being Nikki's shadow. I really like that idea. But I think I'd have to tinker with it a bit more if I'd actually were to finish the drawing. I don't really get time to draw Nikki often, but it's always such a joy to draw that shy boy. <laughs> But yeah, there's not much else to say about this cover that I haven't in my other video, so let's move on! Next cover is a Sonic Adventure cover, but I actually lost the footage of me sketching and inking. We all love to see those technical difficulties. Either way, apologies on that. <laughs> about the art though, on this one I actually focused on the background. And this is the one I lost the footage of the sketch that physically hurts. Like the story behind this cover, I actually was super proud of this one. I liked it a lot till the inking. Coloring the water was a problem though. I had a hard time on the body of water that's below Amy and only that spot. Like literally. I had a lot of fun rendering chaos and to this day I do not know why that single spot of water was so hard to color for me. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I prayed and hoped that no one would notice when the critique day came. Spoilers, my teacher noticed. <laughs> he subtly pointed out that it lacked depth and here I am having an aneurysm and screaming internally because of it. <laughs> In the end, I still like this cover, but the critique I got will never not be memorable. Next one is another Sonic Frontiers inspired cover. Yes, I was playing it again at the time this assignment was given. How did you know? <laughs> in this cover I played with line weight. I took a lot of inspiration from the Sonic Adventure character art that everyone's seen. I really like that style a lot and I've been meaning to study it a bit further. And while this doesn't really look like those art pieces at, at all, I liked a lot the depth that the lines gave this piece. A little bit of backstory on this piece. I actually was very very hyped about drawing this because on the sketch I had included a lot of hatching and I was really really looking forward to ink that. And I did ink it. It was a lot of fun and I think those inks looked very good. But when I started coloring it just looked a lot busier than I wanted and at the end I, I had to scrap it because I didn't think the coloring and the and the hatching looked good together and there goes like 40 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. <laughs> Aside from that little tragic backstory I got there I think this cover looks very good and the coloring in this actually made it pop a lot. I know that I was mourning the loss of my hatching <laughs> just a bit a, a bit earlier but i think that it was a fair trade-off because i think the colors look very good either way on to the next piece this cover is about a game we all know and love the murder of sonic the hedgehog i really wanted to make a piece dedicated to this game because i think this game is hilarious i've said it before and i said it again this game is the best April Fool's prank we've ever received on the Sonic fandom and yeah, it's it's very good. The idea behind this cover was the Dream Gear sequences and minigames that we get throughout the game. Because I think the pixel art on those sequences and the gameplay is actually top tier, I really enjoyed those parts of the game. Which I get that some people found it a bit hard or annoying, but man, I... I I actually found them to be a lot of fun, and that's coming from a very, very, very bad gamer. <laughs> On this cover I actually worked a bit behind the scenes because I made a color hold. When I started this cover I already had an idea on what I wanted the colors to look like, but I wanted to refine the idea and the color palette because while I think I have an idea, it's better to put it down on paper or I guess on the screen, in, in my case. And I think the colors on this piece actually benefited a lot from that. So I might start doing that a lot more. 
But yeah, in, in this cover I really, really, really like the colors I used. And maybe it's because I'm biased and I like a lot of pinks. But either way, this was more of a simple cover because I really wanted to convey Barry and Sonic in the Dream Gear sequence. Which, by the way, the track Sonic's running on was a nightmare to ink. Like, long, long lines are so hard to do. But oh well, I actually got it done. And with that out of the way, let's go on to top two. This next cover is inspired by two of my favorite Sonic IDW characters, Serge and Kit. And originally, this wasn't going to be my submission for the, for the assignment, because I had another cover plan. I spent approximately 10 hours trying to fix that cover, and it just wasn't working. So I just rage quit it and scrapped that whole idea and started from zero the day after and which mind you was a day before uh, the assignment was turned in so I don't really know how this ranks so high but it's so good I really like this cover a lot look at that those are the wonders of stepping back and resting for a bit and then coming the next day with a fully fledged idea that's 10 times better than the one you had before. Because at the moment of doing this cover, I just wasn't nervous anymore about this assignment. I was just tired. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I still had a lot of fun drawing this. And I'm very grateful I actually convinced my teacher to letting me make Sonic IDW covers as an assignment. But at that point, I was just very tired because these weren't the only assignments I had to do. No, 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 no. This was just one of the assignments I had to do. And I think that tiredness was the reason the other cover just didn't work out. I don't know, man. Just that cover wasn't going anywhere. And to this day, I still feel so angry at that cover. But little sacrifices come a long way because I really love this next idea I had. And I got to draw Surgeon Kid again. So I guess it's a win-win. And now for the first place, the best cover of the whole semester, it goes to the Sonic Prime cover I did. Oh my god, I love this cover with a burning passion. This one doesn't even have a funny or enraging backstory, no no no. I just sat down one day and cooked the absolute best piece I've done the whole semester and I don't know how that came to mind. But man, I really like this cover a lot. I don't even know how I did seven characters without blinking an eye because I'm sure this one took the least time from any of the covers I've done. I'm pretty sure it took the least time to do, which is which is mental. I don't even know how I did it. I I tell you man, I just sat down and cooked. I don't think I'll ever peek like that again. <laughs> I actually spoke about this cover a little bit more in detail on my other video, which again on the top right corner, and I you can see my process over there a bit more thoroughly, but yeah, this cover didn't really take a long time. I was I am just impressed on how I did it. You know how artists sometimes speak about like that one piece that they love and they do not know how to how how they did it and how to replicate the success they did. Yeah, this is the one for me. I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> and because of that, and that my teacher absolutely loved this cover, this one gets the easiest first place ever. And with that, we have concluded all the covers I did for the semester. Woo! I've been talking for a while now, <laughs> oh my god. If you're still here, thank you so much. You just successfully survived like 14 minutes of me rambling about my covers and Sonic the Hedgehog. If you want to, you can rank the covers I did from your perspective on which one you like best. I'm actually very curious on what you guys have to say, so leave a comment! Either way, I won't take much more time off your hands. I have been Akari-san! Thank you for watching! See you in the next one! Bye bye!